In this video, I'm showing you my top three picks from Nomos Glashütte, what you have to be aware of before buying them and exactly why I have picked those three. So let's get started. Before we dive into the watches, I want to thank Kutte 1825, based here in Stuttgart, Germany, for letting me borrow all of the watches in this video. They have an amazing selection of all kinds of brands, especially German ones like Nomos, Junghans, Alange und Söhne, so make sure to check them out whenever you visit Stuttgart. So many of you have asked about a video on Nomos watches and German watch brands in general. That is why today I want to start with the Nomos top picks as a part one of my Made in Germany series. In this series, I want to share my top picks with you, tell you everything you need to know and should be aware of before buying each of these and why I have picked those exact watches. And by the end of this video, I will announce the winner of my 10,000 YouTube subscribers watch roll giveaway. So make sure to watch until the very end. Nomos was founded in 1990, making them 30 years old in 2020. And what I really find interesting is that they have chosen a design approach that has been, let's say, outdated long before Nomos even started. The Bauhaus, an influential German art school, operated from 1990 until 1933. Even though the actual Bauhaus operation was short-lived, it has created quite a significant impact in terms of art and design. The whole idea behind Bauhaus was to create a junction between art and craftsmanship. Form should always follow function, so to say. Those pieces influenced by the idea of Bauhaus therefore often tend to look very simplistic and some might even say aloof with the lack of warmth, but others welcome the simple design approach and its resulting calmness. So without further ado, let's dive right into my top three picks from Nomos. My first pick of today could be called an absolute Nomos no-brainer. The Tangente reference number 139 is the embodiment of Nomos design philosophy and was part of the first launches in 1990 designed by Susanne Gunther. It is an absolute straightforward looking watch that cuts right to the chase. The stainless steel case measures 35 millimeters in diameter with a height of 6.2 millimeters and a lug to lug of 45 millimeters. You might think that the 35 millimeter diameter sounds rather small, but do not be mistaken. The lug to lug and the design really add to the overall size of the watch and if you have smaller wrists like me, you should definitely try this one on before buying it. On top of the case sits a sapphire crystal, which is framed by a super thin bezel with an unobtrusive crown on the side, which makes this a good choice for an everyday watch in terms of materials used. The dial is a galvanized white silver plated dial that serves as a clean backdrop for the typical Bauhaus style typography hour markers. Instead of highlighting 12, 3, 6 and 9 o'clock, like we see on most watches, Nomos chose the even numbered parts on a dial to stand out. At 6 o'clock sits a sub-second dial with circular grooves that fits in perfectly with the rest of the dial. As this is the only complication on this watch, it's not something for those who prefer a bit more function on their watch. The minute, hour and seconds hands with their blue tempered collar contrast just enough to add a pop of color to the dial without making it look out of place with the rest of the simplistic design. So in terms of design and its neutral colors, the Tangente really goes with everything, making it very versatile and easy to combine. But I can also see how that might turn off those who would like to express themselves through their watches. Inside takes the in-house caliber alpha that has to be wound at least every 43 hours, which is amazing considering that you get all this for a price of 2,180 US dollars and you can see it all through a sapphire case bag. You can instantly tell that this is a movement straight out of Glashütte with its typical stripes, the perlage and the swirls. Nomos also offers a less expensive steel case bag version for 1,900 US dollars. I have picked this watch because to me it is the ultimate Nomos and overall a very good choice considering the price and all the things you get with it. You have an in-house glass with the caliber, which for itself is quite a sensation for that price tag. You've got excellent craftsmanship and finishing, a clean and simple design that goes with pretty much everything, and all that for 2,180 US dollars. It's basically a watch for everyone and definitely a great piece to start with when you first enter the world of luxury watches. But compared to many other watches at this price point, Nomos would also be a good pick for longtime watch collectors as well. My next pick is the Orion 38 Datum reference number three 
To me, the Orion is the secret counterpart to the angular and rather cool tone Tangente. The steel case measures 38 millimeters with a height of 8.9 millimeters and it measures 47 millimeters from lug to lug. This makes the Orion slightly bigger and longer. What really stands out to me is the lug design on this. The lugs slightly taper towards the strap, which distinguishes the Orion as a more classic looking watch compared to the Tangente. Additionally, we have a domed sapphire crystal that adds to the classic or old fashioned vibe of the Orion. So this would definitely make a good pick for those who look for a more contained approach to the whole Bauhaus design. Oh, and by the way, in case that reads as old fashioned to you, you should definitely wait for the last watch in this video. The dial is white, silver plated with sleek stick hour markers that are gold plated. Additionally, we have a sub second style at six o'clock as well as the so-called long distance date below it. The date display looks really good on this watch and I really like the big date display as it makes it super easy to read, even from a long distance. And that's exactly where they got the name from. Even though I think they did a great job with mixing the gold with the silver and the blue colors on this dial, I personally find this dial a little less easier to read as the Tangente. When flipping this watch around, you can see the beautiful glass hood movement through the sapphire case back. Inside of the Orion beats the in-house caliber DUW4101 with a 42 hour power reserve. To me, the Orion belongs in this list not only because it is, at least to me, the counterpart to the equally iconic Tangente, but also because the Orion is a great choice for all who love simplistic designs, but want to keep it more classic as this one does not feel as Bauhausy as the Tangente. A big plus is also the added date and the two-tone look on the dial, which gives it a bit more warmth. So even though the Orion with its price tag of $3,060 is about 40% more expensive than the Tangente and looks similar, I'd still lean more towards the Orion given all its extras. Okay, so my last pick is something really special from Nomos that combines all the great things Nomos is known for and then takes it to a completely different level. The Nomos Autobahn Neomatic 41 Date is probably the most German sounding watch of the entire Nomos collection. And let's be honest, that's quite a challenge in itself. The 41 millimeter steel case with a domed sapphire crystal on top has a height of 10.5 millimeters and a lug to lug width of 48 millimeters, which I would still consider a rather thin watch given all the things packed into this. When looking at the dial, I think you can tell that Nomos really must have had a lot of fun with this watch. The theme of the Autobahn, which is the German equivalent to a uh, motor or highway, but partially without speed limits, runs like a thread through the entire dial design of this $4,800 watch. On the edge of the curved rhodium plated dial, you can see the finely printed minute markings. Further inside sit the hour markings, applied in the same way like the Tangente with its even numbered steps from 12 to two and so on. At six o'clock, we have a very unusual looking big date displaying three dates at a time, which reminds me of the mileage displays in older cars. The sub seconds display above the date is also curved, adding more depth to the dial with a small 60 printed on top. The orange colored seconds hands against the silver grayish background kind of reminds me of a fuel gauge with its contrasting colors, adding more to the Autobahn theme. But the main highlight here is definitely the bright blue hour scale stretching in 240 degrees from eight to four o'clock. The bright orange hand that is significantly longer than most hour hands sweeps across the blue scale like a speedometer, tying together the entire car or Autobahn theme of this watch. Fortunately, I have to say is that they abstained from over designing the minutes hand and kept the stick hand in an understated silver coloring, only highlighting the very tip in a bright orange to help with legibility. On the dial, you can also get a clue about another feature of this watch, which I'm very excited about. Because unlike the Tangente or the Orion, which are both manually wound watches, this Nomos Autobahn has the automatic caliber DUW6101 built in. An automatic movement with a date display and a 42 hour power reserve. And that is not all. With the Autobahn, you also get a 100 meter water resistance, making this watch really something for every day and every occasion. I also do not think that I have to point out how cool it is that you can also see the automatic caliber through the Sapphire case back on this. The Autobahn has made it into this top three because it might not be the safest, but is definitely for me, one of the coolest choices from Nomos. I am usually not a fan of Carthine watches, but I absolutely adore the approach from Nomos as this still feels 
is and looks very much like a Nomos with its Bauhaus design cues, but you can also tell that they're not afraid to add some new and individual ideas to the concept. I mean, I know that this is definitely on the larger side with its 41 millimeters and with a price tag of almost $5,000, you would definitely have to think twice before pulling the trigger on this, given that you only get it with a fabric strap. But the fact that you get a very unique, but definitely not corny looking watch from a top German manufacturer straight out of Glashütte with a big date and a 100 meter water resistance is definitely something that speaks for itself. Okay, so those were my top three picks from Nomos. They all embody the typical Nomos design and the amazing quality you get for a comparatively low price considering all the extras you get with Nomos watches. Overall, I think that Nomos is great, especially for those who might be only starting out with watches and might still be a bit unsure about what they like. They are easy to style and you can dress them up or down with different straps or outfits, which also means to me that Nomos watches might not be the best fit for eccentric individualists who like to express themselves via their watches as the Bauhaus influence on Nomos is a more low-key statement. So while I announced the winner of the watch roll from two weeks ago, let me know in the comments down below what you think of my picks and which Nomos watch do you think might be missing from this video. And the watch roll goes to, drum roll, Sean Hardy. Sean, congratulations. Please leave a comment down below so I can give you my email address and we can sort everything out for you. And that was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the first part of the series and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.